today we are uh, focusing on migrating the log analytics agent into the azure monitor agent so microsoft is announced to migrate the log, an log analytics agents into azure monitor agents before august 2024 okay so right now uh, to get rid of uh, this uh, recommendation we are going to uninstall the OMS extension and we are going to install the AME extension to perform this activity. Just I'm taking a small use case like uh, I'm using the virtual mission scale set. And uh, so whatever the workstation related logs, we are using the log analytic agent legacy E1 and capturing all the workstation related uh, uh, events related logs and everything. And uh, we are pushing those things into the law from law monitor services, uh, monitoring those logs and uh, generating the different insights top of the those logs. Let's see how we are going to install this. Uh, Azure monitor agent, uh, what it will do, it will capture all the law monitoring data from the workstations uh, and it will push into a respect, uh, respective law to monitor and Azure monitor service will take care to perform some insights top of those data. So this AMA, Azure monitor agent will help us to cost reduction and in terms of security, it will give you more compatibility compared to OMS, I mean log analytics agents. So I don't want to go in depth, just to go to the Microsoft documentation, we'll get the, all the theoretical knowledge and everything. Uh, today, mostly we are focusing on uh, just uh, virtual mission scale set related uh, migrating virtual mission scale set uh, virtual missions virtual mission scale set into the OMS agent into the AME agent to to perform those things uh, to migrate those things we need to follow the some steps so I can downgrade the, uh, my instances uh, down to zero after that I can scale up what other things I need or else without downgrading also instead of uh, uh, this activity I'm applying the BMSS level instead of that uh, we need to uh, go to instances level and identify the OMS extension by using the type and the publisher name and uh, delete from there running instances as well so we can install the um, AME agent underneath. So instead of going the instances level, I just I'm going the VMSS level uh, and uh, installing the AME, removing OMS extension and installing the AME. Okay, let's uh, go step by step. I just uh, uh, right now to perform this thing uh, in, the, in every organization, we have a lot of VMSS list and everything. We need to perform everything in manually means it will take a lot of time. So for that, we can write some automation scripts by using the PowerShell or uh, Terraform scripts. We can execute top of the subscription level. So it will uh, apply for the underneath subscription related uh, VMSS list or VMs and other things. Uh, to perform this use case, I just created, uh, I'm using like Azure RESTful APIs to perform those activities. Um, so right now, um, we have um, like eight steps to perform this uh, use case uh, to remove the OMS extension and installing the AME extension. Okay, uh, steps is like uh, just uh, first we'll uh, grab the token, after that uh, we'll remove the existing OMS extension, then after we can add the AME extension, after that to, uh, to add in the Azure virtual page and uh, it's a required uh, some data collection endpoint and uh, data collection rule as well. Okay, data collection endpoint will take care by the uh, in, uh, workstation related logs, so it will pull and push into the uh, respective log by using that uh, endpoint and uh, after that we need uh, some DCR as well, so data collection rule nothing but uh, so what are the um, uh, what kind of the logs we need to capture from our workstations and it will um, based on the rule data endpoint will take care by read the logs from the workstation and it will push into the uh, law from law a monitor service will take care and it will generate some insight it's top of that okay uh, next um, we need to associate our dcr into um, uh, dcr into the our vmss whatever the vmss we are working and uh, we need to uh, associate a data collection endpoint also into that uh, vmss so it will uh, uh, to by following these eight steps we can get rid of a OMS extension and we can push the log. Let's see step by step uh, how we can do this one. So everything I'm using the global variables to perform this uh, activity. Just have uh, eight steps, eight restful endpoints uh, we need. So all the things, uh, uh, tenant ID, client ID, client secret, uh, I need a VMSS resource ID, subscription ID, uh, RG name. So I'm using the private endpoint, uh, uh, private uh, network by creating the DC. So for this, uh, to enable the communication within the private network, we need AMPLS ID as well. So, and uh, our uh, log analytic workspace, I resource ID also we need. So right now, everything I'm performing in the North Central region, uh, make sure uh, whenever whenever we are uh, migrating this kind of, uh, well, the DCE and DCR, make sure our uh, log analytic workspace and uh, VMSS and uh, data collection rule, data collection endpoint uh, should be in the same region so that uh, we can reduce the um, complexity while communicating with the multi region, uh, multi region in between the communication and in terms of the cost of performance as well. So it will give the uh, most efficiency result if you are maintaining the same region, all of the stuff. So let's start one by one. Um, let's go to here. Just uh, I'm generating the token. So I got the response, just I'm taking the barrier token to perform, to delete the OMS extension. Uh, right now, if you go to the portal, uh, my VMSS, go to the extension, you will see the uh, OMS extension text. This is the um, thing that we need to identify the uh, OMS uh, extension by using the OMS um, uh, OMS extension uh, publisher name and type, type is like OMS extension. Okay. So using that, we can identify the old um, OMS extension and we can delete it that from. So right now, uh, my instances is working in the Linux platform. So uh, I'm using all the Linux related stuff here, extension also compatibility with underneath uh, the Linux platform. Okay. Uh, now. Let me delete this one. I'm removing the OMS extension test. This is the name of the uh, old extension name. So accepted. My extension got removed. Let's go to the portal and refresh. 
See, my extension got removed from the extension list. Now we need to go to the Postman. Now I need to add the AME extension. To add the AME extension, as for the documentations, uh, this is um, that they need to type as like Azure Monitor Agent. Publisher is like Microsoft dot Azure dot Monitor. So here, this is the name of the extension name. Uh, I'm installing this extension under the VMSS level. So let me go and execute. So it was created. Let's go to the portal. So just a refresh. See, my extension is installed. Now extension is installed, but we need to uh, uh, push those uh, this workstation related logs to uh, law, right? So it's a required some uh, data collection endpoint and uh, data collection rule as well, right? Let me create the data collection endpoint. So to create the data collection endpoint, I'm going to not central region. Uh, this is the requested body as for the documentation they recommended. So I'm using the tags for my tracking purpose. Uh, properly, sir, I'm using the private network. So this is the body. Uh, I'm uh, just I don't want to open for the public forum. I mean public network for this uh, route. Uh, this data collection endpoint. So this is the route. This is the name of the DCE data collection endpoint name. So this is the route uh, while creating the DCE. So let me execute this one. So your request to sending the request. It will take yeah 200. I got the success. Let me go to the DCE. So right now I don't have any DCE. Just a refresh. It will take a couple of minutes uh, to provision within the Azure platform. A couple of seconds. I can say yeah my DCE is created. So right now, um, DCE is created, but I'm using the private network, right? So I need to map this uh, uh, DCE into the, my uh, AMPLS, Azure Monitor Private Link Scope, so that I can uh, communicate uh, within the um, law and everything within the platform. Okay, let me add those things. So this is the route, uh, this is the, my MPLS resource ID, followed by the scope, name of the scope. So this is the request body, like I'm giving the, um, my data collection endpoint. So here uh, I created the data collection endpoint, right? So it will uh, generate the one resource ID. Like if you go on here, open, you'll get the resource ID, right? So just copy that resource ID and uh, you can uh, add those resource ID under the private link resource right here, current session. So uh, just I'm using the postman. So what are the things? Um, so if you go to the data collection endpoint, you go to the test, so just I'm uh, sending those, uh, updating the response and capturing the ID from there in the response, just assigning those things to the main environment variable. From there, I'm reading and updating here. Okay, let me execute this one. So it's got 200, it's got succeed. So now DCE is created, right? So DCE is created and I added the MPLS to that one. So now I can create the DCR as well. So DCR. So to create the DCR, uh, this is the name of the DCR I'm using. Uh, subscription ID, RGN, uh, just, this is the route. So I'm going to the North Central. So I'm using the Linux platforms. So this is the tag. So mainly it will hold the data source and the destinations and data flows. These three attributes underneath. Um, data source data source means like uh, here we need to defend the rules right so performance counters so it will hold the different streams so if you want to capture the vm insights uh, related all the things and as well as the performance counters means we'll use the microsoft insights metrics this is the stream so whatever the um, uh, azure platform i mean uh, whatever the logs uh, underneath in the workstation so it will capture the, all the logs uh, by using the stream uh, detailed metrics like uh, how much uh, processor memory ram how many uh, bytes consumed uh, uh, network bandwidth uh, how much storage and there's different metrics are there those will be workstation related metrics will be captured by using uh, this microsoft insights metrics stream so i'm giving the every 60 seconds i can uh, go and pick the uh, logs from the workstation i'm giving the uh, frequency of the time so uh, if you enable this stream, so the both performance counters and vm instance will be applied to the workstation right now um just i'm creating one rule i'm giving the instructions right so uh, if you want to enable the only performance counter instead of vm insights just i need only performance counter just we can uh, enable whatever the things you need uh, right now 49 counter specifies are there within the workstation we can capture the details instead of that we can see let's say if you want to use it memory uh, i don't you don't need a uh, rest of the processor related uh, columns data just to get rid of this tree and replace only this uh, counter specifier so we can customize our um what are the rules uh, i mean we can customize what kind of so we need to capture from that workstation. So like this, we can capture the logs here. Uh, if you are using one more thing, like here, so if you are using the dependency, uh, I mean service map, I mean mapping uh, thing. So if you go to the my VMSS level, I'm using the dependency agent. I mean, uh, um, uh, I'm using the service map. So what are the uh, on my workstation? I mean this VMSS uh, mapping to any third party. I mean uh, any other services. So it will give the graphical represent, uh, representation in the Azure Monitor service. So we can go to the map uh, service map. We'll see the other representation. If you select some particular uh, virtual scale mission, set a virtual mission. So that mission related, uh, how many, uh, how that mission is pointing to any other service. I mean uh, any other workstation. Like that, it will give us some graphical representation how that connectivity is going. Like that, it will give us some graphical representation by using the dependency. So if you want to add on that. Uh, streams as those logs also we can enable those things uh, using the service map so the, here we need to give the extension name so right now dependency agent instead of that what are the dependency agent name you give me here just copy the linux right just copy this name of this thing and we can press here and we can enable that stuff okay so here these are here we are specifying all the rules right? in the data source what kind of the um, data we need to collect from the workstation okay now destination destination means uh, we need to push uh, workstation related logs to specific law right log only cluster so here we are giving the name of the law we can give the some random uh, name specification and uh, we can provide the workspace id workspace resource id that uh, law you will create the law right so that law related resource id just grab those law id and pay, play here right now i'm using the south central uh, no, sorry north central uh, so north central also is holding some law in the my rg level so just i copy the resource id and i just i can paste it here after that i'm giving the instructions uh, like uh, so whatever the microsoft insights streams are there uh, i'm defining the data flow so in the front of the workstation all the vm insights related uh, streams uh, will be captured and pushed into this law 
so just i'm giving the reference uh, we can um, define multiple laws let's say if i want to move this inside stream to one law and uh, performance counter related streams into another law um, in the same uh, region means we can capture multiple uh, laws we can define we can give the multiple references here so service map let's say service map related streams i want to push into some another law so i can do some another law like giving the reference by adding one more law in the log analytics object and uh, i can point into uh, different uh, streams and different laws uh, different based on the use case okay. let me execute this request so this is the name of the dcr so if you let me go to the portal so right now i don't have any dcr so let me create uh, one more dcr See, now my DCR got created. Let me go to the portal and check. Just refresh. Uh, it will take a couple of seconds. Uh, my uh, it's created in non-central Linux platform. It will go and sit in like a destination like as multiple logs. So data sources like uh, if you are enabling uh, fully detailed VM insights, means it will capture all the performance counter related uh, specifiers as well as the VM insights related uh, information under the workstation. It will capture all the logs uh, from the uh, this platform. Okay. Now. Step six is completed. Now association. Now we need to um, associate our VMSS. So this is the VMSS, right? So this VMSS into uh, respect to DCR. We created the DCE and the DCR, right? So we need to find uh, DCR to this VMSS, then DCE also th into this VMSS. We need to map this uh, both DCE and DCR into this VMSS so that our logs will be uh, pushed into by using the AMA agent. Let me go and create the map. First, I will uh, map the DCR. So whatever the rule we created here, if you go to the test, just I'm capturing the um, ID and full resource ID and um, setting into the environment variable like current station. DCR. Just go here and just I'm using this one. Uh, this is the request body. Uh, this is the route. Uh, so this is the naming convention of the association. Uh, you can use whatever the associate followed by the whatever the naming convention. You can use user friendly or GUID number. So this is the association name. Just execute the request. Yeah, I got the succeed. Okay, it got associated. Now go go to the data collection rule. Uh, DCR associated to the VMSS. Again, I'm going to associate DCR. Sorry, DCE. So this DC also we created here, right? So if you go to the test, just whatever the session, current session DC, just I'm capturing from there and the current session DC here, just I'm using here data collection in point here as the request body. So here also, uh, while associating DCE, this is the route we are using, configuration access endpoint API followed in the version. Okay, this is the route uh, we are using while mapping the DC into VMSS. Just execute this one, we got the success rate. So now we completed the entire migration. Okay, OM, OMS into MA agent. Now we need to check the logs, how we can validate whether the uh, MA, OMS extension is removed and uh, MA agent is taking care of all pushing the logs from our workstation or not. How we can uh, validate those things means just go to the portal and um, go to your log. So uh, whatever the log only workspace you created in the North Central region, go to that log, click on the agents. You will see uh, how many uh, workstations are connected to the Azure Monitor agent. Uh, we have like both Windows and Linux servers. I'm using the Linux servers. How many uh, servers are pointing to the uh, workstations are pointing to the AMA, how many extensions are pointing to the LA, I mean OMS, uh, log only uh, agents. So right now, um, uh, we can come, we can see the number of counts. Uh, so right now, one, one uh, station still in pointing to the log analytics. We need to make this one as well. So right now, uh, right now I have, uh, this law is uh, uh, a station is uh, um, um, workstation is pointing to AMA. Seven missions are pointing this uh, this law by using AMA only. So now we need to go to the log. Just click on the log. So we will go to this uh, window. This redirection here. So now we can check them. So this is my previous log. So I this one. So how we can check the heartbeat on that one. So we'll get the, all the um, yeah, right now these are the agents running underneath my uh, workstation. So if you see the category Azure Monitor Agent, if you see this means uh, we, we are done the migration from OM, OMS to AMA. I mean, um, so we get rid of that um, log analytics agents into the Azure Monitor Agents. So if you want to see older, um, old log uh, analytics agents means right now I have one server, right? So one mission is running on the log analytics agent, right? So if you want to see those logs, how can we uh, segregate those things? Means? So just uh, execute this one. See, if you see category is direct agent means uh, this system, uh, this uh, mission is uh, the workstation is pointing to the legacy system, legacy uh, log analytics agent. So if you are using Azure uh, category, direct agent means it's a old one, uh, OMS extension is playing the uh, key role there. If you see the category type as Azure monitor agent here, uh, AMA is got installed in this workstation and it's successfully pulling the logs from the workstation and pushing into the um, law based on the uh, data collection rule, whatever the rule we defined, those uh, um, rules related uh, metrics only we are pushing into law. So anyhow, Azure monitor service will take care uh, generating the insights based on these logs. This is all about the migration stuff. Uh, yeah, anyhow, I can I can provide you this uh, Postman collection uh, under the video description. Just so we can walk through those, uh, uh, just uh, walk through this uh, collection and uh, just play in your organization whenever you are migrating. You can automate, you can customize your scripts based on this in uh, APIs, and you can play and you can execute in your organization as well. Yeah, that's all about. Thank you.